The lights are turned down low And I'm sitting here alone Thinking how to get so far from If Australia embraces its Indigenous culture 100%, I feel like it can really close the gap between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people, not only give so much pride and depth to the country. But also give people like the real sense of belonging. My name is Isaiah Firebrace. I'm a singer and uh, I'm a proud Gunditjmara Yorta Yorta man. I won the X Factor in 2016 and also represented Australia at Eurovision. And I'm one of the world's most streamed First Nations artists. Growing up, I felt disconnected to my culture and my identity and the colour of my skin, to be honest. And I was never taught too much about my culture because my dad also didn't know much about the culture and Aboriginality. My dad had a very hard upbringing. Uh, his childhood uh, was traumatic for him and his siblings as well with the stolen generation and his parents and grandparents experienced what it was like to run for their lives. He's, you know, definitely had trauma from that end. The culture was taken away in that sense. It was never taught to me and, and the stories were taken away. That's why we have so many people out there like myself who grew up not really knowing who they really are. It's an identity crisis for not having that connection to the culture and and who we are as First Nations people. It's unfortunate because like that is the type of stuff you're supposed to be taught when you're a kid and when, when you're growing up. So you grow up to learn that and be confident in that. I, I've had to go back and do my own education on, on who I really am. Sometimes it's a lifelong journey. I feel like I have a responsibility, like all First Nations people do, they owe it to their ancestors and to their culture to, to remain, to be a fighter for change and, and have that responsibility. I started a petition last year because I really want to see a change in the respect and acknowledgement of First Nations people in Australia. And I feel like through education and people learning from a young age, about First Nations people, history, about the culture, about how unique and special it is and the respect that sh that should entail should be taught from primary school. And I feel like, I feel like that is a huge change. I feel like that will bring a long-term change. I really believe that education is the key to ending racism in Australia and throughout the world. And it starts with our kids, it starts with respect, recognition and acknowledgement. And we need to have solidarity as a country and our future will be bright if we can do so. To learn more about how to end racism, visit education.abc.net.au.